Acrobacterium-mediated transformation. What is Acrobacterium tumefaciens? It is a rod-shaped gram-negative soil bacterium which belongs to the family Rhizobiaceae to which most of the leguminous plants belong to. It is pathogenic and does not benefit the plant in any way. It causes crown gall disease in plants. This is an electroscopic picture of Acrobacterium tumefaciens. Agrobacterium is one of the cloning vectors for higher plants. Agrobacterium mediated transformation is the process of introducing new genes into plant cell by the usage of TI plasmid of agrobacterium. Agrobacterium mediated transformation of tobacco. Tobacco being a dicot is a very good host for agrobacterium mediated transformation. Now this agrobacterium transformation has also been exploited in monocot plants. Transformation using leaf disc permits efficient gene transfer, selection of transformants and subsequent regeneration. Method of infection The gene of interest is introduced into the TI plasmid of agrobacterium tumefaciens. It is then introduced into the plant cell and the gene of interest will get integrated with the plant chromosome. The important applications of Acrobacterium tumefaciens are it is used in inserting foreign genes into plants. The Acrobacterium acts as an efficient delivery system for genetic engineering in plants. It is used in a special type of signaling seen in gram-negative bacterium called quorum sensing. Acrobacterium mediator transformation The six steps involved in Acrobacterium mediator transformation are Bacterial suspension preparation, explant preparation, preculture, co-cultivation, selection, and rooting. The materials required are tobacco leaves, agrobacterium strain harboring a binary plasmid, 0.1% mercury chloride, tween 20, sterile cork borer, YEP medium and AB medium, hygromycin, kenamycin, and tissue culture waste. Bacterial suspension preparation. Agrobacterium strain LBA4404 harboring P. cambia 2301 plasmid is streaked on agar plate containing kinamycin and hygromycin. Then a loopful of this strain is inoculated in 2 ml of YEP broth containing kinamycin. The agrobacterium strain is streaked on an agar plate. A loopful of it is then taken and inoculated in 2 ml of YEP broth containing kinamycin. It is then grown on a shaker until the OD is reached 1. Explant preparation. Collect leaves from 1 month old plant. It is then sterilized for 3 minutes with mercury chloride and tween 20. It is then washed thrice to remove traces of mercury chloride. Then the leaves are cut using cock borer or scissors. Pre-culture. The leaf bits are cultured for two days in preculture medium. The leaf's lower epidermis is kept facing up, that is inverted position. Then the plates are incubated under light at 25 degrees Celsius. The work area and the tissue culture wares are first cleaned with 70% ethanol as a process of sterilization. A healthy tobacco plant is chosen. A leaf is then carefully cut from the plant. It is then cut into smaller leaf bits and the leaf bits are carefully placed on the preculture medium. They are placed in such a way that the leaf's lower epidermis is facing up. It is then incubated for two days at 25 degrees Celsius. Co-cultivation Co-cultivate the leaf bits with agrobacterium culture for 10 to 20 minutes. Dry the leaves by blotting them and transfer to co-culture medium. Then they are incubated for 2 days at 25 degrees Celsius. The inoculated agrobacterium is centrifuged. The supernatant is discarded and the pellet is dissolved in buffer. After the pellet is carefully dissolved in buffer, Antibiotic is added to it. 
the precultured leaflets are taken they are then emptied into the agrobacterium strain they are co-cultured for 10 to 20 minutes the leaves are then dried by blotting A Wattman filter paper is placed on the co-culture medium. This is done in order to prevent aggressive growth of agrobacterium. Then the co-cultured leaflets are carefully placed on the filter paper kept upon the co-culture medium. It is then incubated under light at 25 degrees Celsius. Selection after two days, wash the explants with sterile water containing cefotoxin. Blot dry the explants and transfer to selection medium. After two to three weeks, the shoots emerge. Transfer them to fresh selection medium. An appropriate volume of cefotoxin is dissolved in sterile water. The sterile water containing cefotoxin is taken in a petri plate. The co-cultured leaflets are emptied into the petri plate containing sterile water with cefotoxin. Then the co-cultured explants are washed. The washing with sterile water containing cefotoxin is again repeated twice. Then the leaf bits are dried by blotting and then they are carefully placed on the selection medium. After selection process, the callus is formed from the explant. It then forms the shoots. The shoots are then dissected and placed in the rooting medium. After 2-3 to three weeks, a complete tobacco plant is obtained.